If the runway conditions and weather appear satisfactory, the next concern is the airplane. If it is your airplane and you live in cold country, you probably have a built-in engine heater that you either leave plugged in or that you get someone to plug in the day before a flight. If you're on the road or fly a rental airplane, you'll want to arrange for preheating whenever the temperature is below 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Some airplanes won't even start when it's that cold or colder. Others will start, but the wear on the engines is terrible. The best deal, if you want to get off as quickly as possible, is to give the FBO folks an estimated time of departure and have them start preheating in advance of that time. How much preheat is required is determined by the size of the heater, and the FBO should have some idea of how long to preheat under existing conditions. If you aren't familiar with the capability of a preheater, be careful. I've seen the composite nose bowl of a cowling damaged by an extremely hot preheater. Another condition that you must resolve before starting the process is any ice and snow or frost on the airplane. This has to be removed before takeoff. With frost, you can sometimes delay until a time when the sun has been on the airplane for a couple of hours and let Mother Nature take care of the frost. Some FBOs can spray the aircraft with an alcohol mixture and others may have glycol, even hot glycol, much like the mixtures used for airline aircraft. Still other FBOs can put the airplane in a heated hangar. Finally, if you have no help at the airport, you can use a broom to sweep snow off, but if there's ice under the snow, you still have a problem. 